In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your phone as a webcam to boost the look of your video recordings from this to this. It's not very well known that you can use your phone's high quality camera and take the resolution of your videos up to 4K depending on your phone's capabilities. I'm gonna show you how to do just that by using an external software, and you'll wanna stick around until the end of the video because I'm gonna show you how you can use your phone's camera as a second camera angle with a simple hack using Riverside. Setting up your phone as an external webcam is actually really easy. You just need your phone's charging cord, your phone, something to hold your phone up with like a tripod or a stack of books, and then you need to download some software. There are a few different apps out there that you can download for this, but the one that I'm going to recommend today, you can use on both Mac and PC, as well as iPhone and Android, and best part, it's free. So, on whatever phone you have, head to the App Store and download Irian. I-R-I-U-N. Once that's downloaded and installed, head to irian.com. Again, I-R-I-U-N. Now you're going to want to download the software onto your computer, which is super quick to do. Now you're going to want to connect your phone to your laptop using your charging cord. Make sure Irian is running on both your phone and your computer. And now you'll want to set up your phone so that you have a good camera angle. There. After you've installed the software and you've set up your phone, restart the browser that you are browsing on. Now on whatever platform you're using, Skype, Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, or Riverside, you can select the input for your camera to be Irian, which will make your phone an external webcam. Now I'll show you how to do this on Riverside, but the first step is to make sure you're using either a Google Chrome or a Microsoft Edge browser in order to use Riverside. Your first step is to create a new reusable studio. This is the Riverside Green Room where you can select all of your inputs and outputs. So under camera, you're going to want to select Urian Webcam. And now it's switched over to using my phone as a webcam. It's as simple as that. So let's head into the studio. In the studio at the side, you'll see all of the inputs and outputs you're using and you can change them here in the settings as well. Click record. Now you would record your episode and when you're done, stop recording. And once the upload is complete, you can view recordings and you'll have a high quality video available to download afterwards. Now because Riverside has an app, you can actually eliminate the need for any computer or any external software. You just have to download the app and you can host a podcast episode, have guests on your show and have audience members watch live just from the app. The app will continuously upload the recording throughout the entire recording process so that when you're done recording, you have separate tracks for everybody's audio to download afterwards. The video will be high quality and the audio that you get from your phone's microphone using the Riverside app is actually fantastic. For a thorough walkthrough of the app, you can click on the card above. Now you stuck around till the end and I'm going to show you a fancy little trick where you can use your phone as a second camera angle using Riverside. You want to join your studio from both devices. So I'm going to start with going from the web. You want to be using headphones for this part. When you get into the Riverside studio at the side, you're going to want to make sure echo cancellation is on. Okay, and now you need to navigate into the studio from your phone. So you can invite yourself using this link or inviting by email. Then you're going to navigate to the studio from your phone. Now, when you're navigating from your phone, there are a couple tricks that you need to follow along to in order to make this work. So pay attention. In the Riverside Green Room, you're going to want to mute your mic. You also want to make sure that the audio is down all the way on your phone. We suggest to use the back camera so that you get a higher quality video. And you also want to make sure that you're recording in landscape so that the final aspect ratio of the video matches the aspect ratio of your webcam. So once you're set up and you're in the studio on both your phone and your computer, you're going to click record. You'll notice that there may be a little bit of audio coming out of your phone. This is why we turned on echo cancellation in the studio, but if it's really bothering you, you could plug in a pair of headphones into your phone and then you won't hear the echo. When you're done recording, click view recordings and this will bring you to your recording take page. And here you can download separate tracks for both your phone's view and your computer's view. Now, when you bring these into your editing software, you can toggle between camera A and camera B to make a more dynamic and engaging video. 
Now there's actually an easier way to do this than what you see on the screen right here and that's with Adobe Premiere's multi-camera function and there are tons of tutorials online about how to use that. You can also do this with multiple people in the recording so you have a ton of different camera angles to choose from. Just get your guests to follow along to the steps in this video. We hope this video has given you some fun tricks in order to elevate the look of your final video recording. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel before you go and I highly recommend your next step be watching the app tutorials for both Android and iPhone and you can find them in this playlist.